What's up people and welcome back. Today we need to have a look at this pillow drill because it's doing my head in. Right. So I've been working on the frame and what keeps happening is this keeps basically jumping out of here and it's chewing it up and it, it's damaging the teeth. It just keeps dropping and then this start up here, the belt stops slipping. So we need to strip this thing out of here. How it comes out, I don't know, but I'm thinking we might be able to undo these bolts and lift this off, put it on the bench and have a look. Maybe. That, that is a wild guess, it's a wild guess, because I don't know. But we need we need to look at it, because it's literally doing made in. Also, what is that noise? Right. The fan on my fire there's a rocket. Right. So we can take that off. There's another handle up here, but I don't know what it's for. Aha! Now we've got to do this lift it up. Right, come on. I'm guessing it hasn't been off in a while. A while at all. Does not want to lift up, does it? Another knob does. Come on. Woo! Nice! Hey! Bloody hell! Let's have a look. Give me a quick blow off. Bloody filthy. Vinage chewed up. I have no idea how you're going to get it out of there. Right. Let's open this up. Guessing that centre is somehow attached to there. That's not looking badly bad. Really? I have no idea, does anybody else? I'm guessing we could knock that open. I'm right, that should be a backwards thread, shouldn't it? Ah. 
Well, that's just a bad in there. Oh, and a retaining clip. Oh, people. Any ideas? Something else holding it somewhere, people. But I don't know where. I think I'm going to take all this crap off. That's the thing to me that moves. I think I might have to take all this crap off. Well, that's just going to just going to spring like a sausage, isn't it? Adjustable. Learn new every day. So that's just the spring that slots on. You can adjust the tension here. Gas now. Oh, might even put some new bearings in this if we can get it apart. But you notice the end bearing. It did feel like it had play in it when it was in there. It might have just been that, you know. Yeah. Now to go, people. So I ain't gonna fit. I think I'm going to have to try and ream it out. Ream it out. With a reamer I ain't got. Oh yeah. Something's a bad bearing. Feel it. Plug, plug. Hear it? Now, how do you get that out? I'm guessing it's got to go that way. Then again, what will stop it from falling out? Hmm. Ah, there be a circlip here, people.
said, that baby likes you feel that bad. I think he's just contaminated. A lot. That baby feels okay. I don't think you're even going to see in there, but... See? And it's down the bottom as well, it's all chewed. Mmm. So that's what I've got to try and fix, people. I can't make another one because of that. Mmm. Well, it's, you'd have to find the right bearing, wouldn't we? That's for the rubbish. That's good. That bearing actually feels fine. Ooh, I suppose it can't get any debris, can it? But this bearing's knackered, and that somehow needs fixing it too. It's here, normal. Drill bit goes in. It stays in quite firm. Well, I think that chuck has seen better days. Yeah, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, see that barely reaches. I don't know if you'll see, but inside there. See the edge is damaged. Yeah, so it's just pulling itself out. So what I could do is I could put that in the lathe, skim that down so it goes further in. And then just try and polish that back out. It might be the only thing I can do. If I get the angle right and polish it out as best I can, because I haven't got a reamer. If I had a reamer, it'd be fucking sweet, wouldn't it? MT2 reamer. What we might have to do is put a bar in the chuck, put the chuck, the bar onto me, uh, so put a bar in me four jaw, clamp that to it, and run the centre. Yeah. That's what we're going to do tomorrow then. Ryan, thanks for watching. We'll get on it, shall we?